Hi, I'm Doug Haverty, and I wrote the play in my mind's eye. I'm Kate Hare, and I play Trish Henderson. I'm Peyton Kirkner, and I play Patty Henderson. I had an experience with my seventh grade teacher. My first day of seventh grade was this teacher's first day of teaching, and she was teaching world geography, and she was blind. I thought, Wow, this woman is really brave to stand there in front of a class and try and teach them. And so much later after I was in college and had written other plays, I thought, you know what, I'm going to write about her because I think she's an interesting role model. That she had so much courage, so much gumption, and she wanted to be a teacher. Now I am a teacher. I've been teaching now for 20 years. I have even more admiration for her today than I did then. Well, Patty is a very confident girl, you know. She's not afraid of like talking to new people and sharing her output on the world. It was just, it was an eye-opening experience for me because I got to do things that I don't know if I would have been able to do in like any play. But this, this, I, it's, it's just amazing. I love it. I think the biggest challenge that I've had thus far is just getting used to not relying on my eyes for everything. You know, in everyday life as a sighted person. So I've been trying to switch more to hearing at first, like going towards the sound with my ears rather than my eyes immediately. So just that switch of physicality has been probably the biggest challenge. Emotionally though, I feel like I understood pretty much everything about her pretty quickly. Also, it's a love story. This is a love story, so I want people to understand it's not just a love story between a man and a woman, it's a love between a mother and a daughter, a counselor and a student, um, and uh, neighbors. I think it's also a love story between Trish and Patty, you know, because it's centered around tapes, which are her diary, so a lot of it's her reflecting back on her life and her childhood. And I think when you get to the age that Trish is at and that I'm at, she gets to the point where she really does love who she was and then who she is now. So I think it's just so important that this story lets people accept who they are. No matter if they're sighted or not, it's, I, I just really love this story. <laughs>